She looked at me with unbridled fear in her eyes. Of you I repaid with a calm smile. Looking at the frightened girl, I remembered where I was and why I had gone to such extremes. I didn't set out to kill anyone today. I came here to protect Sarah, to protect girls like this one from those fiends. My methods may have been contemptible, but even so, I had my reasons. I removed the tape from the frightened girl's mouth with my bloody hands, meeting with far less resistance than I thought I would. Whether paralyzed by fear or simply smart enough to not provoke a murderer, the girl remained frozen, allowing me to cut the tape binding her hands. So, I guess that's it for me. Those two won't be going anywhere, and the girl's free to move as she pleases. My work here is... Huh? Just as I turned to leave, I felt my leg snag on something. When I spun back around, what I found was the arm of the girl I had just helped, tightly clinging to my pants. Her gaze was locked into my own pupils, no longer showing the fear I had witnessed moments ago. I suppose that's for the best. If she's lucid enough to differentiate between friend and foe, then I should be able to leave her without worrying. I removed the girl's arm from my leg, then turned once again to walk away. Emptying the contents of my stomach into the bathroom sink, I washed my mouth out for the, for the nth time as I tried to clean myself off. For all my efforts, the sink now reeks of bile and stomach acid, not to mention whatever remained of breakfast. I managed to keep my composure at the scene, and even on the way home, but the moment I entered the front door, my stomach took a turn for the worse. Be it the diminishing adrenaline, the overwhelming scent of blood, or the sheer gravity of what I've done, my body is now paying the price. I spat up the last of my breakfast and hung my head over the sink, closing my eyes as I thought back over what had happened. After leaving the girl's side, I used my hooded jacket to wipe the blood off my knife. I exited the same way I entered, jumping over neighboring fences until I reached the road, then I casually walked away from the house. Once I'd put some distance between myself and the crime scene, I then ditched the conspicuous article of clothing in the storm drain and kept the clean weapon tucked under my shirt. As for my gloves... Oh no. I wasn't wearing gloves from the beginning, was I? I didn't think I'd need them, so I never bothered buying any. And the weapon seemed like an obvious purchase for someone in my view of new line of work. But gloves? My fingerprints will be in several places around that house, not to mention on my second victim. Luckily, my fingerprints aren't on file, as far as I know, but any possible evidence is bad news. And even without my fingerprints being present, there's still the matter of that girl. She saw my face. She has a piece of tape with my bloody thumbprint on it. She can place me at the scene of the crime. But will she? When I left, that girl seemed to realize that I meant her no harm. If anything, I helped her out of a bind. So shouldn't she do the same? Even if she does play along, the fact is that I'm in serious trouble now. My job is both dangerous and criminal. I've killed three people, and yet another person now has the power to put me behind bars. If I'm not careful, my work might just start to follow me home. Finally prying myself away from the sink, I eventually managed to settle my stomach and get a grip. I realized that worrying wouldn't do any good, and I could only wait and see. For the time being, the matter was out of my hands. As I attempted to restore some sense of normality to my day, my mind turned back to my work, my collecting gig with Marcus. With our usual meeting time having come and gone, it was already too late for me to head out. Even if I left, I wouldn't have any clue where to go, since our destinations were told to Marcus directly. What a blunderer. I killed two people, left evidence and a witness at the scene, and now I'm skipping work which my crime lord boss expects me to complete. Today really couldn't have gone any worse, could it? Yeah. Oh well. 
No use worrying about it now.